to support student success at Ivy Global School. My name is Gareth Bradwick and I am the Partnership Manager here at Edmentum. And I'm delighted to have here with me today Ivy Global School who have partnered with Edmentum for the last 18 months or so. Just before I hand over to the team uh, and let them introduce themselves to you, I just want to point out that we encourage you to post your questions in the Q&A section down below, and we're more than happy to go through those at the end of the presentation. Okay, uh, without further ado, I'll now hand over to the team at Ivy Global School. Thank you, Gareth, and it's our pleasure to be here today with you and the team as well. And um, here from Ivy Global School, we, we appreciate the partnership and um, Edmentum has been a great partner, um, great curriculum for us to have been using so far. Um, so from the leadership team, um, we have Mr. David Armstrong. He's our honorary president. He has been in the education industry for about 33 years also. And um, he was the former president of Broward College from Florida. Um, he has been an active in education and, and he has been a great mentor. Unfortunately, he won't be here with us today, but he sent um, his greetings to, to everyone. Um, next is myself. My name is Christina Choi. I am the CEO of Ivy Global School. Um, I've been um, with Ivy Global School since day one and I have a lot of great passion for this school and the project and and the, and the education um, landscape in general, especially the ed tech um, area. And um, we're joining with us today will be Dr. Kai Knoll. He is our principal. He has about 25 years of experience in education as a school's principal superintendent. Um, he, he has a well of knowledge and you will hear from him today. And he, he is so great to work with and we are so glad and honored to have him as our pr principal. Um, also, we have Miss Jennifer Warren. She is our vice principal. She is a leader in the education setting for many, many years. Um, and she's have had many years of experience in, in the ed tech education online virtual um, schools as well. And, and Jennifer has a great passion for learning and teaching. And she's a great teacher uh, herself and a mom to start off with. And I see that Dr. Kai Knoll, um had just made his appearance as well. So Fung, could you go to the next slide? We have more exciting members. Um, also from, you know, from the business side, we have business director, Ms. Chen Pi Hai Ha. She has 20 years experience in K-12 international education program. Um, having been working with her, she has a great skills and great mindset and great vision for ed tech and, you know, has a great eye for, for spotting good curriculum. And she and I, we were the very first um, few people looking at um, Edmentum curriculum and we decided that this is it. This is the curriculum that we need to go with. Um, next on the screen here, we also have Director of Academic and Operations, Ms. Nguyen Peng Zhang. She's been a, a wonderful person from the school. She has um, been leading the operations, the, the sales side and you know um, the recruitment side with the parents. She's great. She has built a great relationship with the parents and, and school um, and partner schools. Um, and last but not least, we have our amazing and wonderful Dean, uh, Ms. Dao Ping Fung. She has here, uh, she's here today. She has about 10 years experience um, with, with us. Uh, well, 10 years of experience in general in, in uh, education and, and Fung has been with us since day one as well. Um, I'm very um, proud of the team and I'm glad that they're all here today, except for a couple of members that we, that unfortunately we won't be able to, to get. However, um, it, it's just uh, very glad that we are here today with you and I will pass it on to Dr. Kai Knoll to talk about the curriculum um, and what we offer at Ivy Global School. Thank you very much, Christina. Um, First of all, I'm going to go over a little bit about the school and the mission, uh, vision, and uh, core values, as you can see on your screen, and welcome everyone from whatever time zone uh, you're, you're in. Um, so the mission here at Ivy Global is uh, to create a learning community that not only um, seeks to better the students academically, but also to ensure that there's some good connection between the peers and uh, a good relationship with their teachers. And luckily the LMS that we have uh, allows for uh, that interaction in group settings and threaded discussion. So face-to-face -face live 
chat rooms and, and so forth. Uh, so we feel especially now that that's extremely important is to uh, ensure that socialization between students uh, so they don't feel that they're alone in this world and in this pandemic. Um, next, our vision is uh, to become a premier institution providing an online curriculum aligned to the um, American standards and then our core values, accountability, honesty, acceptance, integrity, respect, and service. And so that goes from every stakeholder uh, that is involved with Ivy Global, whether it's our advisory board, the administration, the teachers, the students, the parents, all must uh, adhere to those uh, core values. Okay, next slide. So we are a uh, private um, K-12 school. Uh, we're located in Tampa, Florida, um, and we are virtual. Um, we offer all elementary, middle school, and high school. All of our teachers are US certified, um, licensed teachers across the three levels. Um, and we do provide, again, the live lessons with the students through the LMS system. Um, we offer the various uh, all the core classes, electives, um, some career technical education, all the SAT, ACT test prep. Um, there's some ability for individualization and credit recovery courses where the student doesn't have to take the entire course over again if they have previously failed it or if they just want to replace a grade that they didn't do so great on. So they just want to now try to improve their score and their GPA. Uh, what's great about uh, virtual education is students can access it at any, anywhere, anytime. And when we are dealing with a lot of different time zones, we had teachers in the U.S., we had one teacher that was visiting in, in Ireland, we have teachers in Vietnam. And so it's extremely important that it is available 24-7 um, because teachers may have to get up at three in the morning and do a lesson because it is uh, five p.m. in uh, Vietnam. Um, and then the LMS is great for uh, to keep track of student progress um, so we can uh, peek in on how the students are doing at any time. The parents can can also check on how their children are doing. The students can check. It's very um, intuitive and easy to use. Um, and it's just a great, a great tool for us uh, to do our continuous improvement and to ensure that all students are um, are progressing appropriately and effectively through the program. Yes, so in terms of like uh, Admentum implementation, so we um, kind of like we have been very happy with what we have with Admentum. So like uh, in order to make the best use of Admentum, so first we like before each live session, so we do have like live sessions with um, US uh, uh, US city pilot teachers. So um, uh, students are required, you know, like to do the pre-starting, they go into the tutorial, which is like a very great features of Admentum. And uh, I think like personally, me as a teacher, I love the guided note that uh, Admentum provides for teachers. All the guided note is very helpful. It gives like, it lays out, it gives like the summaries of the, um, of each lessons. And as you can see, like an example of the guided note here, it helps, it really helps students to kind of like, uh, to understand step-by-step step and then to summarize like um, the uh, knowledge that they need in each uh, lessons. Uh, and so that during the each live sessions, we kind of like, um, uh, we want to uh, the student to be the center of our class. So often during during the live sessions, the class, like the student it, um, themselves, they hold the discussions. They talk about what they find in the material and do they like it or like if there's any parts that they find like really, really difficult to understand so that the student can help each other. And also like if needed, the teachers would uh, surely provide the insight on the difficult topics and um, for that like the student can get the um, get the best out of it so they will be like you know um, and after that they can like independently practice uh, so so after like uh, you know after the class they will be will be sure that the student 
fully understand the lesson's content and kind of like can independently work on it. Uh, also, we uh, we also like the teachers also provide a peek at the next lesson's material where they can have um, you know like uh, they can have what to um, what to expect it for the next lessons. So when they do the pre-study, they can help. They have a little guidance uh, in that. Just like um, yeah, like just not blindly looking at the lesson itself. Okay, so after each lessons, the student will be re uh, are required to review the material and take the mastery test. So we love the way that Edmonton provide like the mastery test where the student can kind of like uh, have to be master in that um, uh, in that lesson content. And if they are get like if they are not master yet, they can always like go back to the tutorial, read it again, review the material again, and then do the uh, do the mastery test. So that to make sure that the student will fully understand. Um, and also, we love that the progress reports, as you can see here, is, has a, is very has very detailed events on like how many times that the student tried uh, on each uh, mastery test, on pre test, or discussions, or tutorial, and even like the time on task. Because like sometimes you know the student can uh, get into the task, go through it in like one minute without uh, reading anything. So. Uh, we love like um, the teachers really love to have like, the time on task where they can make sure that the student really go into it and then that is like the actual effort of the student. Um, yes, and then next I will say like uh, I'm with the stage for Miss Zhang to stay on uh, to talk about the impact on learning we have. Sorry, uh, yeah, you are mute. So, um, as we all know, the, the, um, just a second, I'm sorry. I've lost it. Okay. As we all know, the, the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in a sudden shift away from the classroom in many parts of the globe. And education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rights of e-learning, uh, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on a digital platform. And why some believe that the unplanned and rapid move onto online learning will result in a poor user experience and that cannot lead to a sustained growth. Uh, others believe that a new hybrid model of education will emerge with significant benefits. And having been using Edmentum as our main education platform, we found that the integration of information technology in education would be further accelerated and that online education would eventually become an integral component of school education. And for those who do have access to the right technology, there is evidence that learning online can be more effective in a number of ways. And some research shows that on average, uh, the students can retain like 25 to 60 percent more material when learning online compared to only 8 to 10 percent in a classroom. This is mostly due to the students being able to learn faster online. E-learning requires 40 to 60 percent less time to learn than in a traditional classroom setting because students can't learn at their own pace, going back and forth and re reading, skipping, or accelerating through concepts as they choose. Uh, and, and what made us really happy when using Edmentum platform are, are, are their uh, advantages, uh, features such as its um, trackable student report, progress, standardized lessons, and multiple activities types and games that help the students more engage. The colorful and detailed illustrations help make the lessons more fun. And the tutorials are extremely thorough. Each lesson has tutorials and activities that students can work on at their own pace. And while most of the lessons are online, there are also several offline uh, activities. These are uh, printable worksheets. Uh, activities, but they are very high quality in that they ask the students to do work on their own thinking and draw their own conclusions. 
And we found that the program itself is rigorous and challenging, yet it's still presented in an engaging way. It also emphasizes higher order thinking and uh, rather than just memorization. Um, besides, I, I think that the, the platform provides interactive instruction along with assessment, and it will prepare students for college and career, uh, career path. So uh, we've come up with a lot of positive feedbacks from our teachers, our students, and their parents upon their teaching and learning journey with Edmontum. And therefore, I would love to share with you a few of those experiences in the following short video clips. So please uh, watch with us. Hi, my name is Jessica Reed, and I've been a teacher for the last eight years. Edmentum is one of the best online platforms I've ever used, and I've used quite a few in those last eight years. The Edmentum platform really offers a couple advantages over other online platforms. Edmentum offers real-time feedback, and it's available to the student as they work their way through the tutorial. The student also knows what assignments are due, and when they are due. On the Adventum platform, students are offered both formative assessments and summative assessments in the form of mastery and unit tests. In general, the platform is incredibly user-friendly, and it truly gives individuals the ability to maximize their educational experience. Thanks, I am Nani. Things you can expect from an American school program like IGS is it's fresh learning system and interactive lessons, which made it all more exciting. The learning platform is designed for students to easily access lessons and keep track of their progress throughout the lessons. Edmonton is overall a very efficient learning platform with technical features that help you have fun learning while also obtaining knowledge through interactive lessons that the school sets up for you. Its simplicity is what made Edmonton so appealing and easy to use. Have fun learning and hope you succeed. Hi, I'm Mother Chen Ngoc Chung, sixth grader in Ivy Global School. I appreciate the program that Ivy Global School offers with Edmonton. This platform has many valuable resources, such as clips, cell check assignments, worksheets, printable guide notes, to promote my child's engagement. We also love how Edmentum posts the problem and requires students to think deeply to show the real world problems. Thank you. Uh. Yes, and next I would like like Mr. Kai Kono to uh, give a talk on our like accreditation journey. Thank you very much. Hello again, everyone. Um, so we just uh, became accredited through Cognia, Advanced Ed, um, Sachs Cassie, whatever you want to call it, um, and uh, through the digital um, digital school, and there are three domains, uh, leadership, learning, and resource. And the leadership domain um, really focuses on the governance of the school and uh, the administration and how the administration uses the tools available to him or her in order to ensure that the mission and vision of the schools, uh, those are being met. And we use um, the LMS, honestly, to, to determine the progress of the students, which allowed us to make some adjustments in how we were doing what we were doing and assisted um, the leadership team in creating our, uh, our continuous improvement plan, which is continuously changing and, and we are continuously improving. Um, learning capacity, and this is, uh, goes into uh, the impact of the teacher, the, um, the curriculum, uh, the rigor of the curriculum. And during the process of accreditation, though, the reviewers did want to see um, the curriculum. So we, we set them up with demo accounts in the LMS 
So they wanted to review some of the activities. And what they said was their most favorite part of the engagement review was having the interacting with the students and the parents and the teachers. Um, initially, they just had to kind of go through their checklist of questions. Um, but then after those questions were done, each different group, they asked them to take them through their experience in the LMS. So what do you, what does your view look like as a student? What does your view look like as a parent? What does your view look like as a teacher? How do you use this tool in order to benefit your student? Um, and they said they enjoyed that part the most because it was a little bit more informal and they got to know the students and teachers and parents a little bit better. And they got to see uh, a much more in-depth dive into the LMS and the curriculum itself and how we use it to improve uh, students' education. And then the last one, the resource capacity. And this is, you know, do we have um, the resources available uh, to meet the needs of the students and to meet our, um, our mission, values, and goals? And again, it goes back into the resources available within the LMS and within Edmentum and uh, a lot, a lot of the resources that we needed for the accreditation review, we we were able to get from um, from the Admetum staff. Uh, a lot of the uh, syllabus and the crosswalk between standards and the activities within the program, which was very helpful uh, through this process. Uh, we just really have enjoyed uh, working with them and made the process of accreditation go much smoother than it could have gone um, with a different vendor. So I just want to, again, say thank you. And I thank you to my team as well, as long as I have everyone here, um, that they did an amazing job um, through this process, which took 16 months, I guess. So it was a long, long process, but obviously well worth it. And so thanks. So thank you, Dr. Kayaknold. So um, IGS Future Plan, I believe that the accreditation is just the beginning and just, just the beginning of our journey. And this is where the work starts, right? Um, in the immediately in our future plan, we would like to continue, obviously continue growing our student base and uh, improving our academic programs and providing the best, only the best to our students and you know, obviously Edmentum has been using, um, that we've been using has been helping us with that. Um, the next step for us is to get NCAA approval because we have, um, you know, we care about the, the athlete students who actually would like to get scholarships in the future. We are obtaining um, IP courses and, um, you know, approval with College Board to offer IP courses at our school. Um, and we are increasing more and more student activities across the globe, um, you know, like international contests, the pen pal. Um, actually, recently, between Ivy Global School and Den Delta Academy, we had um, a very amazing pen pal program where uh, the two students are being paired together and they are still uh, in touch today to write each other emails, not letters, uh, as opposed to, you know, pen pal being the traditional um, writing letters to friends. And then they become friends, right? Um, students of IB Global School, um, some of them are in the States, some of them are in Vietnam, but the, the pen pal program was actually implemented for the Vietnamese students and um, 8,000 miles away, but they feel they feel like they, they are friends and they close more than, than, than the real friends. And especially under COVID, um, it, it brought everyone together and it was a very meaningful activity. And um, the, the pen pal program uh, between Delta Academy and, and Ivy Global School were, was actually picked up by um, local ABC News and Fox News. Um, so it was a very, um, a very uh, rewarding moment to see our students um, expressing from both schools actually expressing their their um, their things and how 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 they felt about the program. So we are proud and we wanted to continue doing more and more. And uh, you know, this is the forum for us to kind of expanding extend the invitation to any other schools out there would like to join this pen pal program with us and any other international contest, Ivy Global School will spearhead and will support um, and gladly um, invite other schools to be part of uh, this wonderful program. So this, I will end my presentation and thank you, Gareth, for being a, a wonderful host and let us know if you have any questions. 
Thank you, everyone. No, that's really interesting. Thanks, everyone, for, for inputting there. Um, I do have some questions that I've been writing down as well. And uh, I got a couple of questions in from the attendees. But feel free, if you do have any questions, uh, write them in the, in the Q&A box. But I just have some thoughts from what you were saying. It's really interesting to hear some of those, some of those things. Um, we have a lot of schools who, especially in this last year, have been looking to set up a virtual programme of their own, perhaps, or through through what's been happening that they've had to go online to teach um so on that has setting up a virtual school been different in and your experience to running a brick and mortar school uh, and what has that experience been like has there been challenges and big differences i know some of the panel here have, have got that experience of both so be interested to hear how that um the setting up of the virtual school has been I'll take this question if you don't mind. Um, and it was interesting, I'm uh, in Las Vegas and uh, the fifth largest school district in the, in the country, Clark County School District. And, um, but I work at a charter school. Um, so we were a little bit more nimble in order to meet the needs of the students and were able to make that transition um, within three days. Uh, picking up a good uh, a vendor and not trying to create something on your own, but the Clark County School District decided just to leave it up to their teachers, gave them access to Canvas and just said, okay, go um, meet the needs of the, of the students that you have. So from, from that chaos to, to uh, a, a very well put together curriculum, uh, that's already been tried and true is, is just a no brainer. I mean, the, the, the teachers in the Clark County School District really did, did not have a lot of support and they're very um, uh, disappointed in how things ended up. The parents were disappointed. The, the students lost many months of, of education because of just they couldn't, couldn't get a handle on it. So if anyone was thinking about starting a, a online program, I would definitely um, say you should go with a program that's already put together and not try to create your own curriculum and, and, and find an LMS that you can use. Um, it, it's well worth the expense. Um, and it, it was quite different. Uh, we tried to keep the same schedule when the students went online, so they still had to we still zoomed at eight, at nine, at 10, at 11, 12. So they had to go through their classes like they were in school. Um, so that made, again, the transition a little bit easier, but it kind of goes away from one of the biggest uh, benefits of online education is the flexibility. So this past year, so we did the every, they had to follow the schedule uh, Monday through Friday at the end of, uh, of 2020, when there was just a couple months of school left, this whole school year, we allowed for the flexibility. So we did have teachers live Zoom, but also record them and, and put the link of the recording and, and the teacher website. And so the student, if they missed that, they could refer back to it and, and still get the information that was needed. So I would say definitely get a, get a package curriculum online curriculum, allow for flexibility, but still provide some uh, live live lessons and opportunities for the students to interact with each other. Yeah, thank you, Kyle. The, spot on on everything that you, you said. And I just wanted to add a couple of pointers. Um, when I've, I've been always been an advocate for technology and thinking that technology would be a great tool to enhance education. Right, um, our, our brick and mortar um, educational uh, methodology has been great. However, you know, with the changes of the society and the innovations, and we might go to Mars one day, who knows? But um, so I believe that technology has always been and should be used in the best way possible to um, enhance education. And for, for us, like Kyle mentioned, and I just want to echo that, um, having a good curriculum like Edmentum has always been a great joint for us, um, especially with the, with the students 
and, and the parents as well. It's not just the students are, are using the curriculum, the parents, they, they find it very easy and very interactive as well. And they, they are glad because they actually can take a look at the curriculum and follow along the students, their, their kids and the child's progress, right? And even with the teachers, it, it's just so much easier for teachers um, because when I spoke with my friends who, who is also an assistant principal here in New York, uh, all of her teachers were struggling because all of them, they had to prepare the lesson plans from scratch and everything had to be, you know, on Google Share Drive. And, and it was a lot, uh, it was a mess to actually keep up with everything and, and not having everything organized. And you have to kind of frantically mention that, okay, this match the standards, we got to go with this direction. So for us, having a good curriculum was a win. It, it was a no brainer for me when I, when I established the school. Um, and, you know, for us, the struggle part is, really uh, with the elementary kids to from K to eight pretty much because they're they are not yet used to um, you know being disciplined on their own right for high school kids it's just easier they are they can read they can do everything on their own but for elementary kids they they need a lot more hand holding but at the same time actually one of the parents share with me this this experience and they say you know what actually i find online learning a lot more easier and i as a parent for the first time i could see what my kids are learning in school and I can help them and, you know, and the kids actually find more exciting because they're so used to using tablets. So being an online school and, you know, kind of just using a curriculum that looks like a game for them, right? It, it's fun and it's interactive. So for them, everything is right in front of them in the tablet, the, the curriculum, the content, as opposed to sitting in the back of the classroom sometime, looking at the blackboards and not sure what's going on. So I, I believe, I have a strong belief in, um, you know, online virtual learning. It's definitely, it takes time for everyone and for the parents, for the students, for even with the school faculty to get used to it. But it is, it is worth a journey that every school should go to, go, go through, not, doesn't have to be 100% virtual online, it can be a blended learning. But I think it, it's great and it all starts with a good curriculum, so. That's really interesting. Um, what I really like as well, and you've mentioned it throughout your presentation, is when you talk to me, you're always looking for opportunities to um, give your students an international experience. So whether that be talking to students in the US or wherever it might be in that pen pal um, piece that you've got is really great. Um, but I think Ivy Global School, they, you really have that international part in mind and making the most out of digital education is really good. Um, but when we started our partnership, um, not long after that, the, the obviously the, the pandemic hit and I, everything changed for everybody. Um, and it was interesting to hear what you had done in terms of using Courseware. But in terms of Ivy Global as a school, did, that, did it affect the way that you did things initially or did it sort of reaffirm of the things that you put in place that they actually did work? How, what was it like those, those few months for you? Uh, Flum, do you want to take this question since you are with the operations on a day to day basis? Uh, yes, I can take this question. So actually, so what we um, during the pandemic, you, uh, as you can see that we like uh, the for the student right now, like our marketing is like mostly in the student in Vietnam. So our student in Vietnam, like they have locked out. So we have like three times that have been locked out or the school has been closed. But like with Edmonton, Ivy Global School still being able to provide the, uh, the education on day to day base, uh, daily basis to all the students. So basically, like uh, during the pandemic, it's really reaffirming the directions that we are heading. And then we believe that um, like what we have right now is like uh, will be the futures of learning. So everyone will have like the um, options to learn anywhere, uh, anytime that they like. And with the um, some instructions, like some live sessions with the teachers also, the student will be like, will get the best um, the best of both worlds, you know, both the digital uh, curriculum and also the interaction with the teachers. Great, thank you. Um, 
just a, a couple of more for me. So uh, well, first I want to congratulate you on the Cognia accreditation. It's brilliant. The, the amount of work you put in is absolutely huge. So well done. Congratulations. But I wanted to ask, what does that mean to you, to you guys now you've got that? Does it, what does it feel and, and what does it mean to Ivy Global School? I'll take this one and, you know, everyone else feel free to chime in as well after. Um, Cognia seals and accreditation it is a great honor to have. And um, to me, it, it, it further validates what we have been doing and, and shows us that and confirms that we are following the right direction. Um, and and it's, it's such a great honor to be um, awarded the seals from Cognia because they have the most rigorous um, review process, if I could say they've been the world, if anything. Um, so for what it means for Ivy Global is that, as I mentioned earlier, it, it's just the beginning of our journey, right? Um, that means that we we are continuously striving for 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 better and for the best, if anything, to provide the best program to our students and really keep growing our schools um, and having Cognia um, guidelines and, and having the, the seals, we, we are, that just means that we just joined the big league, right? That just means that we are part of other schools. Like I, I think, you know, um, and 40,000 students over the world are, are part of under, you know, the, the good education programs like that, that Cognia is actually overseeing and, and, and um, providing oversight for, and, and we got best practices from Cognia, and we are proud, but we have a lot of work to do as a, as a school, and we are continue growing, and we, that's pretty all I can say, you know, having Cognia doesn't mean that it, it ends here, it's just the beginning, and we'll, we'll continue having to, to work harder to maintain this reputation for us, so. Yeah, and uh, just to add a quick thing on there. This allows um, all of our students then to, if they wanted to experience, uh, if they're living in a different country, they wanted to experience a year in America, all of their credits would transfer over because they've, they've earned accredited US um, high school credits or middle school credits. And so if they wanted to, they could actually, we don't want them to, graduate with a different school, but if they happen to their their parents move or they get a job opportunity in the States, this means that they don't have to take a bunch of entry exams in order to uh, get credits from a school in a different school in Vietnam that's not accredited by Cognia and, and hasn't been using a U.S. curriculum. Uh, so just the uh, um, portability, just so you can kind of allows the students to flow um, from their journey of wherever they end up, this this will allow them. It'll set the, uh, set them up for success instead of a, a struggle if they have to move. So that's one thing that I really uh, am happy with. This accreditation is uh, just it puts a seal of approval on what we're doing to any school that receives um, our students. Yeah, actually, Kyle, you, you gave me a very good point because with cognitive accreditation, that means that the diploma and the transcript that we are issuing to our students will be recognized and will be accepted to any U.S. college universities, whether the students want to apply for, and not just the U.S., right? That would be in the U.K., that would mean Australia, Canada, and many other countries where Cognia also um, accredit other schools in the world. So it means a lot. It means for the students, it, it just, it means good things for the students as well. Um, getting the education from IP Global School, meaning they, they are recognized for their credits. They are recognized for their hard work and, and that will be paid off in their future career and future universities and college application. Yeah. And I think as it, when you see Cognitive accreditation on a school's website, you don't necessarily sometimes think, A, the amount of work that's gone into to get that accreditation and the rigor that they have, you must have to go through to, to get that. But also, as you say, the effect that has then on the students attending and the options it gives them later in life. So it's, um, yeah, again, well done. And uh, it's great to see that you, you finally got that through. 
Um, we just had one question that I can cover just about the actual curriculum itself and what it what it is. So um, the, the curriculum that Edmentum provides is called Courseware and it has over 400 courses within it. So that could be from the core courses of language arts, maths and science to things like electives and college and career readiness, a whole host of different courses. Um, and it's full digital curriculum, so you could use it, the students could use it independently, but the teachers are also there to be on hand as well. So um, it's a really in-depth programme and, and Ivy Global do use that on a, on a daily basis. And that's what we've been talking about today. Um, I'm just going to share, well, I'm just going to share my screen a second. I've got... Um, just to finish things off, because um, that's all the questions we had through. So thank you for, for taking those questions. Um, so if you want to get in touch, I've just put the contact details on the screen. So if you want to get in touch, first of all, um, Christina mentioned about the pen pal piece. So if you are a school who wants to get involved in that pen pal programme, you can get in touch with us and I can pass you on to Christina um, and we can we can join your students up, that'd be brilliant. Uh, if you want to discuss more about um, courseware or anything about Edmentum, we can provide, we can talk to you about consultations and demonstrations and I've, I've put my email address there for you to get in touch. Um, but I wanted to say a huge thank you to, to Ivy Global School and everyone who's attended today. It's been really interesting to hear uh, a little bit about your school and everything you do there. Um, and if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to email them to me and I'll pass them on. I just want to say thank you to everyone who, who did the presentation today. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. See you soon. Thanks very much for attending. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good one.